He can't make you whole. The only man that can make you whole is Jesus. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl and welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome to the stage in the misdirected sisterhood. And we are gonna get right into business. But before we do any of that, make sure that you like, make sure that you subscribe so you can be a part of the sisterhood and stay until the end so you know what to comment. So in last month's video, it was love month. Love month was so much fun. It was so great being able to record with my future baby Ziddy. But he's gone. As you can see, he's not here anymore. And if you haven't got a chance to check that out, make sure that you go and check that out so you know why we're even talking about this today. A huge stream of questions I've gotten is, what do you do before you walk down the aisle? What do you do before you say, I do? Like, what the heck are you supposed to do? And I get it. Those are like valid questions, right? So I believe that God uses his people. He uses his word. Who's this word? Because I ain't making none of this up. I, I'm making it up now. I ain't gonna make it up. I won't do you like that. And he wants to instruct us how to live a life that honors him. And that is what has led me to this series for the month that is called What to Do Before the I Do. Now, I want to preface it before I get into this first, first, first talk of the series is that I'm no expert, all right? I'm no expert. I'm 26 years old. I am a wife, yes, but I am no expert in these things. I have been single, I have been a girlfriend, I have been a fiance, and I am a wife. I'm just gonna share some things with you that I wish I knew, some things that did work for me, and some things that didn't work for me. So I'm just sharing from personal experience and do with it what you will, okay? And the last thing I'm gonna preface and say is that this is not to be like being a wife is the absolute most important thing in the world, right? God designed marriage. He created it to show the world what it means to be in unity with him and the church, like what that looks like and to honor it. You know, marriage is a beautiful thing, but it is not the pinnacle of success. If you're single, you could be called to singleness and God could use you in a tremendous way if you're married you could be called to be a wife and god's going to use you in a tremendous way but one is not better than the other they are just different seasons so please understand me that it's not that being a wife is like the only thing to do like we're women and god created us to do a lot on this earth and everybody is not called to be a wife nor does everybody want to be a wife but this is specifically for my women that are wanting to be a wife and like, hey, want to hear from real experiences and want to know the real zeal. All right. All right. All right. That's ugly. I'm going to stop doing that. So let's get into it. The first thing that I'm going to address, and I'm going to address this video specifically for my single sisters, my single sisters, this is for you. I'm going to give you three things that I think will work well with these three points. One of them, before you are looking for anybody, before anybody is checking for you, before you are out here on these apps and out here in these streets and doing whatever you need to do and what pleases you, make sure that your relationship with the good Lord is good. Make sure that you're whole. Make sure that your soul is whole. You can be out here running and being with guys and having a good time and that is fine if that's what you want to do. But understand that there are pieces of you that are going to be chipped away and understand that there are pieces of you that are missing. And you can't come into a relationship expecting for him to make you whole. It is great to have a relationship. It's beautiful. But he can't make you whole. The only man that can make you whole is Jesus. So before you get into these relationships that you are hungry for, make sure that you are whole enough to be and do life with somebody else. Number two, make sure that you know yourself. Know yourself fully. You're going to evolve, right? You're going to change. Seasons change. I got married when I was 23 and I am not the exact same woman that I was when I was 23. Right now as I'm 26, you are going to evolve. You are going to change. 
Trust that process and learn who you are without him, without that person. Learn what you like. Learn what you don't like. Date yourself. Go out and get manicures by yourself. Go shopping by yourself. Read a book by yourself. I know it does sound a little bit crazy, but no, it's not really. Because if you don't learn how to have the best relationship with God and yourself, you're going to be looking for everybody around you to make you whole. You're going to be looking for things. You're going to be looking for people, substances to fill you. And that will not satisfy you the way that God can and the way that understanding yourself fully can. The third thing, have a healthy relationship with what it means to be in a relationship. Expectations is what we're talking about here. You have to manage your expectations of what it means to be in a relationship in general. I know we have movies, right? We have social media, we have books, we have so much attainable at our fingertips that we can literally look to a relationship and think that the idea of a relationship is this cookie cutter picture. And if you watch Love Month, you know that we had a hot, funky mess dating story. And a huge part of it was that I had very unmanageable expectations, right? He played his part, but where my role was, I had unmanageable expectations. I expected him to be my husband out of the gate when he was just my boyfriend. And that was because an idea that was fed to me through people, through people I admired, through movies, through books, through media, just all these things that were fed to me. And I didn't have a complete healthy relationship of what it meant to be in a relationship. For you, take time and understand what do you even want in a relationship? Don't look at your friends and think, oh, well, I want what they have, right? No. No, 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 fall on the plate. No, no. You need to know what you want. What is your standard? What do you care about? What do you not care about? Because what you may care about, I may not care about, all right? If you know what you care about in a relationship and you have a healthy relationship with what it means to be in a relationship, you will understand your expectations for the things that you require. Single sisters, my single ladies, my single queens. Love God first, love him first, have him come into your life and make you whole, really whole. And know yourself, date yourself, enjoy yourself, dance with yourself, put some music on, get a glass of wine, have a girls night by yourself, masks, toes, nails, everything. All right, buy a new wig, hey, plug, you see me with her, she's cute, okay. And have a healthy relationship with what it means to be in a relationship. Manage your expectations. They're going to change. You're going to evolve. But have those three things as foundations. And I'm not guaranteeing that's going to get you somebody right. Because we ain't out here just doing everything for no man. Er, no. Swerve. What? No. We're not doing that. We are evolving and we're becoming a better version of ourselves. And by the grace of God, we are doing that. And if it brings somebody, it brings somebody. But if it doesn't, that don't mean you still can be fabulous and be by yourself, all right? Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's enjoy the time that we get with ourselves. This is the only time you'll be able to be selfish and just fully immersed with yourself without anybody else to do life with. And that may sound a bit depressive to you. If it does, check where your heart is about a relationship because what a lot of people do is they begin to idolize relationships and idolize marriage. And if that's what's going on, then your heart maybe isn't ready to be in a relationship. So, was that too harsh? I don't want to be harsh. I just want to be real with you. And if you idolize marriage, he will be your God. If you idolize a relationship, that will be your God. But if you can knock away those idols and God can be your actual God, you are already getting started on the right track. I love you, sis. Next week, I will talk to my girlfriends. Girlfriend. Do thicky thing. My girlfriend. Okay, girl, you better stop or somebody signs you. They won't, okay. I love you, ladies. I will see you next week. Make sure that you go ahead and check out that Black Love from Love Month and just mm, be ready to laugh, be ready to be engaged, and like, comment, and subscribe to this Sage and Sophista Ratchet Sisterhood. You stay sweet, you keep it cute, and you remember your worth, sis. May God bless you with 
love and peace this week. I love you. I'll see you next week.